Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Maria Lizagnoli. Several area hotels are getting renovations to prepare for more permanent residents. We're talking about turning hotels into housing. By this time next year, folks will no longer be checking in for a room at the Madison Plaza Hotel on the city's east side. They'll be signing a lease for an apartment. I believe that the environmental impact and reuse is is one of the plus the pluses of our business case. After the previous contract ended with the Madison Plaza Hotel, development company Republic purchased the hotel. In December, the Madison Plaza will begin the 12-month construction project to turn the 197 guest rooms into Plato Madison with 190 apartment units. Republic CEO Richard Rubin says renovating the hotel is much cheaper than building a new apartment complex. We're not digging foundations. We're not... Uh, laying up framing, all of that is pre-existing. Ruben says that's why the rent will be more affordable. The area median income in Madison is $68,000, according to the U.S. Census. Plato Madison is becoming workforce housing, which targets people who make between $40,000 and up to nearly $82,000 per year. There's an almost endless amount of folks falling into that category who are either not, uh, in inverted commas, poor enough to afford subsidized or be eligible for subsidized housing, but not rich enough to, you know, buy their first home. He says rent will likely cost between 1000 and 1200 a month, depending on the unit and the resident's income. The Madison Plaza isn't the only hotel in the area being transformed into housing. In the spring of 2022, Hotel Red became Stadium Lofts. 50 units of workforce housing in the heart of downtown Madison. We need more housing, both affordable and market rate, and I think this, this development project would contribute to it. Keith Furman, an alder on the Madison Common Council representing District 19, stands in front of the latest development to add more housing to his district. In November, the Common Council approved zoning changes to convert the Radisson Hotel on Madison's far west side into affordable workforce housing. I think it's cool. Um, I think it's a, it's a neat concept. Furman says the hotel conversions don't mean the hospitality industry is packing their luggage and leaving. He says more new hotels are being added in the area. Well, as hotels look on how they're going to compete, they're looking at different options on what to do with their properties. And, and the housing need in, in Madison is so high, I'm not surprised to see them teaming up with companies that have been su successful in converting hotels into apartments. Even though hotels already have the basic bones for an apartment building, each room must go through mechanical, electrical, and plumbing upgrades. How much power comes to a previous hotel room is very different powering a kettle, a microwave, and a TV compared to, you know, running a range and a larger refrigerator. Ruben says the hotel pool will stay, but the rest of the hotel, besides the rooms, will become common areas. The former hotel kitchen will become a bike garage. Ballrooms will become additional storage units, and offices will turn into workplaces, fitness rooms, and lounge areas. Looking at an existing structure, seeing how it can be used, uh, reused uh, easily um, is, is really exciting. Republic is a development company based out of California. They've done similar projects across the country, including in Reno, Nevada, Sterling Heights, Michigan, Sheffield, Alabama, and Branson, Missouri. NBC 15 is committed to following the housing and development trends here in Wisconsin. This story is part of a series we're doing on affordability, new developments, and anything you bring our attention to. If you have an idea, please email NBC 15 news at NBC15.com, and we will be sure to look into it.